I had posted a community post, which people can see if they're on mobile or if they go to my channel on desktop and click on the community tab. But I had posted another tweet of Tim Pool, where he said something really ridiculous, where he's kind of lost his credibility as far as I'm concerned. He basically tried to claim that he didn't know what the Great Replacement Theory was, even though he studied the manifesto of the Christchurch shooter, which is called the Great Replacement, and he's interviewed people from the alt-right, he's hung out with people who have those kinds of opinions, and he's going to claim that he doesn't know what the Great Replacement Theory is? Sorry, no, I don't buy it for a moment. That was the point where I, I think he lost credibility. I don't exactly know why I trusted his content as much as I have. I don't know why I've let people convince me that he's such a great, great journalist to begin with. Most of what he does is reads articles and says his opinion. Most of it is him literally reading the article. You see it on the page, and he has a particular opinion about it. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that format, but to push that he's some great journalist because of it? Yeah, and some people were trying to tell me that before. They are saying, yeah, why, why do you put so much weight into him? Well, I don't know anymore. I don't know why I did. I don't know why I looked up to him so much. Yeah, he points out some of the ridiculous things that some people on the left are doing. Okay. I mean, heck, uh, here's something that... that uh, <laughs> there's a high school in uh, San Francisco, Washington, George Washington High School. And uh, they've had these committee meetings for the past several months. And now they're considering... Uh, painting over a bunch of murals that have been in there for like 80 years uh, of George Washington and the things that happened. And, and it was depicting the things rather realistically. It showed that they broke treaties. They, you know, it was being historically accurate. But apparently a lot of students are traumatized by it. It's just like, yeah, so they're going to take that down. So, you know, I guess Trump was, when Trump said, what, are we going to go after George Washington next? And I guess the answer is yes, right? So, you know, the, the left, some, some people on the left are doing some stupid shit. That doesn't mean that someone who spends all of their time, all of their YouTube time, or most of their YouTube time, criticizing the left couldn't be a bit of a grifter. It's very popular right now. It, it makes you very popular right now to say that you're on the left and then all you do is make fun of the left. Now, I'm not, I, I, you know, uh, and I'm not saying that the left shouldn't be criticized because there's, as, as I've just stated, there are plenty of things to criticize. But I don't believe Tim Pool is the person that he says he is. When he can make such a claim that he doesn't know what the Great Replacement is in a conversation. Oh, what is the Great Replacement? Oh, I, I, I have no idea. Oh, I, just, no, dude, no. No, you're, you're not going to pull that and, 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 have, and keep your credibility. I don't care what his real beliefs are, because we probably will never really know them. Um, the, his, his actions are that of a grifter. Now, if you want to hold, if you want to consider him some great person, go ahead, it's fine. I'm not stopping you. But as far as I'm concerned, 
He's lost credibility. I don't know how much more I'll be watching his content. He just seems to be someone who's wanting to make a buck off of the outrage culture. I don't know if I want to be a part of that. Now, you could say that, well, I guess I'm still a part of that because I just mentioned the George Washington High School thing, but... I don't want to make that the primary thing of my channel, so... You know, maybe I should talk about other things, like how someone's driving habits have a lot to do with who they are and how they think. They can show how you think. You know, how courteous are you of other cars? Do you signal early? Do you, do you let people know what you're doing? When you come to a stop sign, do you stop fully at it? You know, if there's no other cars around, do you stop fully at it? Or do you just kind of come almost to a stop and then continue? You know? Um, do you speed a little bit? If the speed limit is 30, do you go 35? Or do you, are you a stickler and you go 30? Do you, do you tailgate someone? You know, a whole bunch of things. It tells how you feel about rules. It tells how you feel about how you fit into when there's other people around. It, it gives an indication of a lot of things about the way that you think. You know, maybe I should talk about that stuff some more, you know. But I don't want to follow the kind of, uh, I don't want to do what Prince of Queens does. I don't want to treat people the way that Prince of Queens does. I don't want to do what Tim Pool does. I don't want my channel to revolve around, let's, let's read an article and then, and then talk about how outraged we are at something that's, that the article has said. Let's be so outraged at what they're doing on college campuses. Outrage, outrage, outrage. What's the point in being outraged? Really? What good does it do? Now, it's, I mean, it's nice to be informed. We should be informed, sure. But outraged? I don't think I want to be involved in that. I also don't want to be outraged, outraged, outraged at Trump over and over again either. Up, oh, he said something offensive on Twitter again. Up, oh, outrage, outrage. I, no, just that's all right. Guess I don't know what more to say right now. So, banana. <laughs>